Good morning, everyone. Can we put it on the beginning? Thank you. And please excuse me, I have a little booster thing here. Hopefully I don't fall off. <laughs> so show me the money. I'm going to talk about quickly what's up at Google. Where is the money? Brand is the new C SEO. And you need to become an influencer. So I had uh, the opportunity to go to Google's offices and with about 100 other media publishers. And this is what we learned, mobile, web, mobile apps, mobile is everything. That was about two months ago. Asked Google, what do you want me to share with the ICMA publishers? They said, mobile. It's all about mobile. You need to optimize for mobile device screens all, on all platforms. You need to have a mobile web strategy and a mobile app strategy, and it's two different things. Best practices, you really need to develop two different teams. That's what they suggest. Um, mobile apps are not for everyone. They're hard to monetize. The only mobile apps that are really making money are the ones with games, but that doesn't mean that you don't need a mobile app. It might facilitate some other user experience that will generate revenues. And consider it definitely for more customer engagement. If you want to see the study, go to Google New uh, Multi-Screen. And you can have this. I put it on a clear slide. So you could find it under ICMA uh, Martha Chair Opening Helsinki. You could use those tag words. So where's the money? Forrester just came out with a US mobile phone and tablet commerce forecast. So mobile e-commerce is where the money is. 29% of US online retail sales for 2014 will be on smartphones or tablets. And 114 billion, excuse me, 114 billion will be for 2014, and they expect 293 billion by 2018. 77 billion is on tablets, so that's going to take over from smartphones. And retail merchants are right now very focused on doing platforms for mobile and tablet. So 2013 internet ad revenue report just came out. It's the first time it's ever surpassed broadcast revenues. This is US. And this is in the IAB Internet Advertising Revenue Report that just came out in April. That was the first 42.8 billion all-time high, 17% growth year over year. U.S. mobile ad revenues increased 110%, 7.10 billion this year compared to 3.4. Triple-digit growth from mobile devices versus 8% from traditional computer screens, again from IAB. 17% market share in 2013 versus it was only 9% in 2012. 12.1 12 billion US ad revenues for Q4 in 2013 versus 10.3 a year ago, a year before. This is interesting. 71% of online advertising in Q4 2013 was concentrated with 10 leading ad selling companies. This is US. 72% uh, for Q4, and apparently for the last 10 years it's been concentrated in very few. Retail advertisers represent the largest category of internet ad spending, 21% in 2013. Financial services represent 13% ad spend, and auto represents 12%. Search still is the top ad revenue format for 2013, but the market share has declined. Uh, it's now 43% versus 46%, but it is on higher revenues, again in the IAB report. Other highlights, classified revenues totaled 2.6 billion in 2013, up from 7% in 2012, and it uh, retains a 7% market share. And lead generation revenues were 1.75 billion, up 4% from 2012, and it's a 5% market share. And that's an interesting revenue uh, channel that we're building in the US. I don't know if it's interesting for Europe, but something we're definitely gonna grow because there are competitors making millions and millions from customers that should be ours. So search still matters, Google still rules. Search is still 88.5% on desktop, 94.55, well Google, 94.55 uh, search from Google on smartphone, and 90.7 on tablets. Brand is the new link building is what I'm learning, and that's a quote from Juice DeVolka of uh, Yoast. It's the new SEO. And what am I learning? To be real and natural? Content is king, so we're back to the original days when content was king, it's still king. Predict what users want. Share and engage with quality content. It's not about the stuff you're selling, it's about the community you're building. Share your expertise and authority, become an influencer. And build your brand. 
So here is some information on how mobile is used on social networks, and I'm going to skip over this one quick. You can see it on the slide. It's a U.S. This is worldwide. Top seven social media used worldwide from January, April 2014, and this is from GS Stat Counter. So Facebook is number one with 66%. I was surprised Pinterest is number two, but far behind with 11%, and the rest follow. And in the U.S., it's similar. In the U.K., Pinterest is actually number four. In Finland, Reddit is number four, and Pinterest is number five. So you can go to the stat counter and look for your own region, and you could get more than the top seven. And what I like using this for is I go to competitors or who I want to be and see who's driving them traffic from social media because we can't focus on all of them. Let's pick the ones that make sense for our niche market. But where's Google Plus? Well, I think you're going to hear a lot about Google Plus in the next few days. Do you want your logo to show? So here's a search for Locanto and see how their logo and little blurb is showing there. Do you want your profile to show? There's Napsters with their logo and Wikipedia information. Well, when we were at Google, they told us that's not going to show if you're not using Google Plus. So you really need to use Google Plus. Use it to get your brand found on Google search results. I don't know about you, but we spend a lot of money on buying our own brand name to protect ourselves. Complete your authorship profile completely. Put everything in it. Uh, if you don't do it just right, it's not that easy. Uh, it's not going to show up. Use quality photos. I've seen that in many tips that really if the photo you have, if Google can't resize it, it just doesn't put it up. Use social media, but quantity is not quality. You don't have to do it constantly. You have to do it strategically and put information that gets shared. Build a community of influencers to grow your brand and rank on top. Google's always wanted to uh, beat the scammers, and they're doing everything to connect you with social media to see that you're a real person, that you actually share information that people like and react to. So stand out, become an influencer, and measure results with clout.com. I don't know of anything better. We've been using it. So start getting on clout.com. Here are some tips to raise your influence. It measures your influence. It measures the influence of your employees. You could find influencers. You're going to, in the next session, I think you're going to talk about digital influencers. So ways, uh, tools like this will help you find who those people are. Be authentic. Share big personal news. It's okay to share that you had a baby. And uh, connect with influentials, gain influence on at least one social network. So some people thought uh, clout.com wasn't very good because uh, it favors certain social networks. It's not true. The CEO said that um, it favors the social network you use the most. So for instance, I use Facebook more, so that impacts mine, and I don't use LinkedIn as much, where Joe uses only LinkedIn, is not on Twitter, is not on um, Facebook, and his score is almost the same, and that's just with LinkedIn. And a score of 30 is easy, 40 is hard. And LinkedIn is great to grow offline influence because they like to see how many CEOs and uh, influential people you're connected to. And of course, don't obsess about it. And that's from James uh, Martin from Mobile Apps blog on CIO.com. And CIO.com feels you really should use this. So sign up now on cloud. And you need to do that because you need to be an influencer and Grow your business, grow our ICMA community, we need you, and grow our buy and sell markets. And because the person with the highest cloud score every day is going to win a prize, we have a Starbucks cup one day, another Starbucks cup, and on Saturday, the highest cloud score gets a soccer t-shirt from El Clasificado. <laughs> so thank you. And again, you could find this uh, on ClearSlide whatever the free one is that works with LinkedIn. Thank you.